Hey everyone, welcome to Star OMAP Tutorials. My name is Priya Desai and I am the Research and Development Manager for Biomedical Informatics here at Research ID at Stanford Medicine. This is part one of tutorial one. Tools for Healthcare Data Science is a series of tutorials that have been designed to provide an introduction to modern data science tools and resources for analyzing clinical data that is available here um, at Stanford to Stanford researchers. <coughs> the focus of these tutorials is to familiarize the researcher with the data, the tools, and the resources available in the context of the computing environment available at Stanford. Uh, some basic prerequisites uh, to be able to complete these tutorials. Uh, a fully sponsored Stanford University SUNET ID, uh, Stanford School of Medicine approved laptop, complete HIPAA training, um, some familiarity with the Unix terminal line commands and Python, and uh, we believe they will be most useful if watched in order. The tutorials are divided into four main workshops. Each of them have been designed to give you an in-depth view to fully understand and use a particular aspect of the tools and data. We will primarily focus on using two tools, uh, Python-based Jupyter Notebooks and Atlas. Atlas is a state-of-the-art open source tool for designing cohorts and building concept sets and running analysis such as predictions and characterizations. Um, our goal is that by the end of tutorial one, uh, you will have Jupyter Notebooks installed on your laptop and be able to run SQL queries on BigQuery. Uh, for those of you who don't know, BigQuery is a service um, for analysis of massive data sets created by Google. Um, so you should be able to run SQL queries on BigQuery using your Jupyter Notebook. Uh, you will learn about the OMOP common data model version 5.3 and the open source community around that. In addition, you will get hands-on uh, experience querying the synthetic Medicare data set, um, also fondly called SYNPATH, which has been converted to the OMOP uh, common data model and been uploaded to BigQuery. And you can, you'll be able to query this data set via Jupyter Notebooks on your laptop. By um, the end of tutorial two, you will have experience querying a subset of the data in the Stanford Research Repository, also known as STAR. This subset, which we refer to as STAR OMOP, DID Lite, contains the STAR data in the Odyssey Common Data Model, uh, which is OMOP CDM 5.3.1. This data set is de-identified and classified as a moderate risk data set, and therefore it can be accessed via the Jupyter Notebooks from your laptop. Um, by the end of this session, you will be able to describe the primary tenets of the OMOP common data model. Uh, you should also be able to apply your understanding of the CDM and perform some basic SQL queries to retrieve data from the OMOP CDM in BigQuery. Um, tutorial three or workshop three is, um, will be focused on Atlas. Um, our goal is to get you up and running with Atlas. Um, as I mentioned before, Atlas is a free publicly available web-based tool, which was developed by the Odyssey community. Um, and this tool facilitates the design and execution of analysis on standardized observational data in the CDM format. It's an interactive analysis platform and it really allows um, non-programmers to perform a wide range of analysis efficiently. By the end of tutorial three, you should be able to explore the structured data in the Stanford STAR OMOP, uh, be able to create concept sets and cohorts. You should also be able to run analysis in some network studies using the patient level prediction and population level estimation packages. Um, and this, you can do this using the execution engine. Tutorial four, uh, by the end of se session four, you should be able to query the STAR OMOP de-identified dataset, which includes clinical notes and concepts that have been extracted from the notes, in addition to the data in STAR OMOP DID Lite. 
So you will also learn about the data access flow on Nero, which is Stanford's secure big data analytics platform. Uh, you will be able to develop queries to retrieve a set of notes for an episode of care for a specific patient, as well as additional clinical events that can only be found by querying textual data. In addition, you will learn um, to query the processed textual content in a sort of context-aware manner so that negation and other modifiers of terms um, are handled correctly. You will gain a deeper insight into the text processing tools that were used to create the content available in the note NLP table and understand the limitations and the strengths of such processing. Um, the agenda for tutorial one is uh, initially we're going to just start out with some exploration of the SYNPUF data in the BigQuery console, followed by an overview of um, GCP and BigQuery and um, actually giving you guys access to, you know, showing you how to access uh, BigQuery data sets in general, public BigQuery data sets, uh, followed by we will uh, followed by a Jupyter Notebook demo. Um, we will also access the SYNPUF data on BigQuery via the local Jupyter Notebook, which we will have installed um, as part of the tutorial. And um, we will also explore more, tuto more tables in the SYNPUF data set. Hope to see you in the next video. Thank you. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.